Hello, this is Victor Bloomberg, LCSW, and today we're going to talk about how you can be in charge of your own psychotherapy. Be totally free from insurance rules. Get the complete safety of therapeutic privacy. Today we're going to get answers to key questions. The first question is, what is empathy? Okay, empathy is getting it, what another person's feeling without being overwhelmed by it. That's one of the things a therapist, a good therapist, does. And what is compassion? Compassion is supporting another person in their efforts to cope with the natural consequences and conditions of their life without shame or a guilt trip. Does a therapist license, guarantee compassion and empathy? No. It's just the minimum requirement to practice therapy legally. Empathy and compassion flow from a life of challenges, a well-rounded life of working with people facing a variety of challenges. It grounds the therapist in the dignity of each person and a curiosity about each individual's point of view. What is a clinical method and why does it matter? Each therapist uses methods that fits their own learning style. Perhaps you have tried a therapist that was likable but ineffective. Maybe their methods didn't fit your learning style. Ask the therapist about their methods. Early on, make sure you understand. And at any time, talk about your expectations. What is a therapist's lane? We know that safe driving means stay in your lane and signal before changing directions. The therapist's lane begins with the most basic rule of them all, do no harm. And it continues with tune in like a receiver, confirm understanding before giving feedback, and provide a safe and trusting place for you to share thoughts and feelings. Your natural abilities lead you to experience pain without re-injury and feel joy with confidence. That frees up energy. In a successful therapy, the direction of work is defined by your goals each and every session. The methods will vary, such as life review, reflection about recent events, stress management, and that sort of thing, as well as whether to continue or wrap things up. How are counseling and psychotherapy different? Well, let's start with counseling. There's individual and relationship. Each provide a safe place for you to talk about things that matter and resolve a specific situation. You've used your abilities to get this far, and you're ready to move forward, building on the strengths and skills you've developed and learning some new ones. That's why you seek counseling. You've made progress from your prior efforts, and now it's time to deal with issues that reappear. To move forward, you understand that you can feel pain without being re-injured, and you can feel joy with confidence, but it's not as reliable and consistent as you wish. While deeply imprinted life experiences remain, you know that the patterns of living can be changed. That's why you seek psychotherapy. You want to convert emotional pain into power guided by love. 